Hey everyone, my name is Kelly Cooney. I'm a reservoir engineer with Collie Gillespie in the Houston office, and today we're going to be taking a look at creating a type curve in PHD Win. Um, so we're going to be looking at developing an Eagleford horizontal type curve for LaSalle County uh, using four of the most active operators in the area. Um, so here we have our PhD database already created with a uh, data set that's defined by a type curve identifier. Um, if I go to the uh, case editor over here and I click on uh, the ID codes tab, you can see that I've added this type curve type label um, with an ID code. This specific ID code states 2020 underscore 2. 2020 is the year that this well started flowing and the 2 stands for a 2 mile lateral. Um, so if we come look at our case list, I have um, all of these wells sorted from 2020 2 mile lateral, uh, 2021 and a half mile lateral, 2021 mile lateral. Um, it's the same from 2020 all the way down to 2016 one mile laterals. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and move forward with making a type curve. Um, this first type curve that we're going to make is going to be operator specific uh, by lateral length. But let's pretend that the, uh, the vintage is not that important to us on this one. Um, so let's take a look at operator A. We're going to filter, set our filter to that. Um, let's look at operator A's one and a half mile lateral wells uh, from 2020 2000 and to 2016. So in your case list, come up here and you're going to create a new case. Um, it's going to be a single case. You're going to want to click on the normalized curve. Uh, let's give it a name. So this is going to be operator A 1.5 lateral length type curve. Operator A LaSalle, Texas and the major phase is oil. Click finish. In the properties tab, you're going to want to change this to end of production. I like to include the test data. It's a normalized curve. In your case selection, this is where you're going to pull in all of your one and a half mile laterals from operator A. So you can either click um, on the top well, hold shift, and click on the bottom well of that subset and drag them over. Um, or if you have these subgroups, I can just go to 2019 one and a half, drag that over, 2018 one and a half, drag those over. And we're going to do the same for the 2017 one and a half and lastly the 2016 wells. So you can see here that's a 109 of operator A's 208 wells within the county. Um, from here we're going to click create and compile. All right, so here is our data to, that we're working with. <clears throat> um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit by double clicking on the graph. And for some reason, my well count got taken off. I'll add that real quick. If you double click on the graph, click products, and you drag your well counts over. Okay. So from here, we can see um, if we go up to our case editor, the reason why I like to add the well count is because we want to make sure that we're hitting the data as best we can while 50% of the wells are still online. Um, we already know that there was. Um, 109 wells um, in this type curve that we're creating. So we want to make sure we're hitting the data as best as possible while about 55 wells are still online. Um, that occurs right around November of 02. Um, so that puts us right about here on the data set. Okay, so we're going to start with our oil type curve. I'm going to throw an auto fit on there just to start an automatic hyperbolic fit. That's control A. Um, I'm going to change the final decline to 7% and let's just throw a um, point A B factor on there to start with. And I'm going to find the end of my curve by pushing my flow up. Let's scoot gas out of the way. B factor looks a little high. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. 0 0.75. And that 
doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna run it out until it hits about five barrels a month. <laughs> okay, now let's get gas. Throw an auto fit on there with control A again. Again, final decline around 7%. Let's jump the B factor up. And start hitting the data best we can. Remember, I'm most worried about the data from here until here. So I wouldn't worry about this drop off. It actually looks pretty good. I can increase the B factor a little bit. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, oil's a major phase, so I'm gonna fix my gas to oil. And for operator A in LaSalle County, um, a type curve on their one and a half mile laterals. It looks like their wells are doing about 250,000 uh, barrels of oil and a little over 400,000 MCF of gas per month. Um, so from here, if you wanted to create more type curves, you could uh, change a filter to a different operator um, and compare their one and a half mile laterals. Or um, if the operator specific wasn't as important to you, you could remove the operator um, and you could just run it some type curves based off of vintage and lateral length within the county. Um, but uh, I'll let you work on creating the rest of those type curves yourself. And that's our tip of the day. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or um, let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks.